Yeah? Hey, listen, you can't bring those in here, mate. I'm on the double yellow line, mate. Yeah, I know, but I wrote to him. I told him. 35 Mapper King Terrace? Yep. Yeah, oh, listen, I know what's happened. I put your letter in the wrong envelope. That, mate, is your funeral. Oh, no, come on, do us a favour, mate. My van's just round the corner. I'll get shot if I bring him in here. And I'll get shot if I get another ticket. Now sign here. Now, look, mate, you take them out of my van and I'll load them on, brother. I should be on the, on the North Circular at half three. You should learn to put your letters in the right envelope. Come on, mate. Thanks very much. Mr. Foley? Who is it? Uh, Mr. Coxman. I'm busy. Uh, yes, but I wonder, uh, have you seen some uh, wire baskets? Wire baskets? Yes. Such as used in shops and supermarkets? Yes, I have. I found them in the hall. I'm taking them down to Mrs. Rourke's. Are they yours? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, all right, then I'll hand them in. Oh, there's no need to bother. I was going down there. No bother at all, I can assure you.
I'm not in. Look what you've done with your... What are you doing? Going shopping. Oh, no, no, no! I confess, I left the love of light on Frau Lawson. What have you done to your hand? Yeah, that crud foley. Well, I wish I had. What happened? No, there's nothing you can do. Tell me. What happened? Who is it? Miss Hausman. Just taking oh, these down, they are. Mrs. Lawson. Thank you. What? My basket. You. Mr. Coxman told me you'd found them. That was very kind of you. What do you want with all... I beg your pardon? With the, all these baskets. Oh, it's the church bazaar. We're running it on supermarket lines this year. Perhaps you'd like to help. Man a checkout for the church. Oh, Mr. Coxman, do you mind? Mr. Coxman has been such a great help. Well, perhaps you'd think about it and let me know. Thank you. Now, check out the Jesus. Oh, don't worry about that old bag. If she comes out there, I'll handle her. Come on. Oh, just remember, I've got another lot of these to pick up tomorrow. What am I going to do with this lot? You could take them to Linda. She's got a big garage. Oh, but you two didn't quite get on, did you? Oh, that doesn't matter. I'll handle her. I think the same. I always do, don't I? She's looking after your baskets. Yeah, what a place, eh? Yeah, the palace of the pearly queen of Helia. Oh, you should never have called her that. Well, I'll prance about with all those beads on. Yeah, I bet you she wears sequins on her knickers. <laughs> pearly queen of healing. <laughs> Look what I did. Oh, that's all right. Clumsy Burke. I'll, uh, I'll uh, buy you a new pair, eh? Oh, no, don't be silly. It was my fault. I should have been more careful. I'll write to those people. I distinctly told them not to deliver those baskets here. Oh, yeah. I'll do it now. Now? Now oh, the mood's on me. They'll probably only say they never got the letter, but still. They didn't. Well, I put their letter into the wrong envelope. Well, I mean, it's easily done, isn't it? I mean, I just realised. I did it because I couldn't read it. Don't go, please. Why aren't you laughing at me? Why should I? I thought you wouldn't want to know. I brought them down the North End Road. Thought well, they might make me look intelligent. Bought with a business. Right, Urban, I. You are intelligent. Nah. Yes. Am I? Of course you are. You know you are. You're big-headed enough. I mean, you're not just saying that. No. Yeah, I mean, really it's got nothing to do with intelligence, has it? No. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's what makes it so frustrating. I mean, I know I've got it up there, but it just won't come out. Why did you never learn? <sighs> I had a lot of illness as a kid. Mother kept me away from school. Before you know where you are, you're a problem. Always remember, they sent me this special school. Aunt Dolly. Aunt Dolly on the first day. Now, look, we love you just the same, even though you're not bright. Now, come and give Aunt Dolly a big kiss. So I goes and sits on her lap and her spills me hot tea down her front. Silly cow. Got myself taken away from that school. Why? Well, I wasn't going to have everybody laughing at me, was I? But, I mean, later. There are evening classes. With Pat? Listen, I was working all day and half the night. The next hour she set her sights on. What about now? Now? I don't know. It's like going up to the place, telling someone. Like that special school. Yes, you told me. Well, I could help you, if you want me to. Hey, would you? Yes. I knew you would.
That was quick. You finished? Yeah. Show me. No, I haven't. Hey, listen, I've been flogging that van around all day. Oh. You've only been doing it a week. God, you're hard, you are. You're really hard. And I'm going to be harder. Come on, show me what you've done. It's from her. What does she say? Oh, the usual. Thank you for the money. Don't send any more. Robin has a cold. Chest. He gets that from me. He sends his love. She, she doesn't want to see, see me you. again. Uh, chuck it away. It's no good to me, is it? Why does she write to you? To remind me how ignorant I am. That's her to a T. Come on, let's see what you've done. See, you're not so bad. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not bad. You're not all that good, either. No. Hey, I'll never learn at my age, will I? Yes, you will, of course you will. Just a skill like anything else. I like ride a bike. One day you get on, you don't fall off. You tend to spell phonetically. How do you mean? Well, the way you speak. For instance, think. You say fink, so you spelt it F-I-N-K. Yeah, are you criticising the way I speak now? Look, if I'm going to teach you, I'm going to criticise you, aren't well, I? Well, yeah, but... Well, aren't I? Sorry. Right. Go and weigh and finish the rest and uh, stick to the exercises. Hey, look, I mean it. Mm. Well, what's the matter? Don't you fancy me or something? You do fancy me. Are you asking me or telling me? But you do. Don't look at me like that. You're involved and I'm involved. I'm not involved, not anymore. Well, I'm involved then. Go and learn how to read. So I'm not bad then? You're dreadful. Finish section three before you go on. Yes, miss. Oh, uh, Linda rang. She can't get into her second garage for wire baskets. Oh, yeah, I was uh, going to go around and collect them tomorrow. I thought I'd better take her for a drink. You coming? I'll be back late. Hey, I was going to study late tonight. There's anything I don't understand. Can I give you a call? No. where you'd got to. Yeah, we was uh, just having a bit of a party. Yeah. Where have you been all this? Uh... Oh, gold. Is that the time? <laughs> been late night shops, have you? What have you bought? Anything nice? Hey, yeah. Uh, do, do you want a drink? No, thanks. Oh, look, you clumsy burk. You spilt it all over the mat. Where's the cloth? Oh, don't bother about it. Who do you think you're talking to? Look, just don't bother about it. Oh, I won't. Don't you worry. Oh, 
Oh, well, if you're not going to pour me one and you don't want one, love, cheers. Did you find out whether she wears sequins, then? Eh? Hey, sequins? How do you mean, sequins? Or are you teaching him to read, too? Teaching him to read? Here. That explains it. You couldn't read that road sign, could you? <laughs> Mr. Big Business. Britain's answer to the recession and he can't even flame him well read. Yeah. If you're one of our big businessmen, I'm surprised that we're doing so well. Will you please go, Linda? Here, now look. I didn't know that you and him would... Well, I didn't know you'd booked him, did I? I have not booked him. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? You and your happy married life. I was talking about a home. I wasn't talking about that. Bricks and mortar. The only things you can rely on. Didn't you know that? You think your marriage is not important? You think his marriage is not important? I thought you were different from the rest of your snooty family, Jean, but you're just the same. Don't try and judge me. You knocking it off with your boss? <laughs> I am not knocking it off with my boss. Oh, go on, you told me. To stop you pestering me about him. I wouldn't want to mess up his marriage. Oh, my God. What do you do, then? Hold hands behind the filing cabinet? What are you trying to do? Teach each other? Silly cow. You despise her. She laughs at you. Then why? I don't know. The old Vino. I don't know. Why didn't you pick someone up off the street? Why her? You need women, don't you? To run your business, to run your life. Oh, my God, you hate them for doing it. You have to prove that they need you just as much. More. That they need your good looks and your charm. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they don't. They don't. Well, we never had anything going for us, did we? Well, every time we got near you, run them all. I mean, what is up with you, eh? What is up with you? I mean, what do you think I'm a... a piece of flaming cardboard? Look, I meant what I said last night. Evidently. But I did. I think you're a marvellous sort of woman, but well, you do yourself down all the time. Well, I don't know how, but you do. You, you do all this cool bit, and you're not cool at all, are you? Last night you said you was involved, and just now you said you're not involved. I mean, what's it all about? You don't have to sleep with someone to be involved. But you're not, are you? Could I have a drink, please? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. It's quite simple, really. One day you wake up and find that all your friends are married. And all the men you meet are their husbands or someone else's husband. I have the unfortunate ability to be able to put myself... No, to be unable to avoid putting myself with excruciating accuracy into that someone else's shoes. Unlike Linda. Well, is that all? Yes. Not quite. I wasn't always quite so good at it. I had a friend, Paula. I was having an affair with her husband, Stephen. Well, it didn't seem a good marriage. She was dizzy, always going off. Didn't care about him, I thought. But when he told her about us, she fought for him tooth and nail. At first we thought it was an act, a, a pose. It went on and on and on. Finally, she asked me to go and see her. I don't think she meant to kill herself. I think she meant me to find her in time. She was like that. But I don't know, you see. I don't know. I'm usually very punctual, but the phone rang as I was leaving and I missed the bus. I let myself into their flat. I had a key. I let myself in and I found her, you see. Well, it's the first time I've told anyone that. What about you and this Stephen? Oh, I never saw him again after the funeral. Stupid. Must seem rather a waste. And every time you're with me, it reminds you then. 
Listen, it's not like that, is it? I mean, you've read her letters. She wants you back. Oh, yeah? Got a funny way of saying it. I've got a funny way of reading it. There's a bit about the money and then Robin and then... I've finished with Derek. You must have known I would. I'm not sorry. I had to do something. Perhaps now you know what it's like. Would you like to talk? She's underlined talk. She underlines a lot, doesn't she? Please, Henry, no crazy schemes. Phone me, Pat. I'm sorry, it was unforgivable. Just yesterday, I couldn't bring myself to read it to you. Makes no difference. Been all through this before. She won't change. It makes no difference. Perhaps now you know what it's like. Is that what she says? Hark at her, she's not sorry. Is that what she says? Is it? Yes. You'll go and see her. Oh, well, I think I should go and do that, don't you? Oh. Uh, no, no more. She's tried very hard, hasn't she? With Pat tried? How do you mean, tried? Well, you've been through all this with her, haven't you? I know, she never had the patience. Haven't you? Well, yeah, a bit. You go for a phase, don't you? Mortgaging the house and setting up the business was your idea, wasn't it? Well, no, I had to do it the way she was always on at me. Well, I suppose I must have thought of it. She thought it was crazy me setting myself up in business and not knowing how to read. It's exactly what made me do it. You forget how these things happen. How did you know? Oh, my big talent. Putting myself in someone else's shoes. She writes to you because she wants you to read you not. Not because she wants to put you down. Go and phone her. What, now? Oh, why not? Oh. For you. What is it? Oh. Hey, thanks. It says for use, not display. Nobody's ever given me a pen before. Not with real ink, anyway. Didn't think I was worth it, including me. Oh, you must have bought this and meant to oh, give it to it'll me. It'll be too late to ring in a minute. Hey, uh, you and that Stephen, uh, I mean, it wasn't your fault. It's like you want to go and blame yourself. That's very clever of you. Yeah, I told you I was bright, didn't I? Even though it's not true. Isn't it? Hey, Jean, I think I do. You don't. I'll see you tomorrow? No. Well, we can still be friends, can't we? Perhaps. I'll, uh, I'll write to you. Yes, you can do that. Thank you. 